Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Solus Ruby back with another video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you a command block shop. Um, but it's going to be fully automated in a shulker box. So it's going to have categories such as um, that you can click on and stuff that you can select and then buy like this and then it will appear in the shop uh, in the chest down below like cobblestone so as you can see look at my money just to prove to you that this is working i have 3275 money we're now going to go into the shulker box we're going to select building blocks we're going to go over to clay blocks and we're going to get 16 clay as you can see my money has gone down the shulker box went back to the main menu my money's went down we're going to go in here and as you can see we have received our clay blocks so guys this also works in the selling shop that we'll do later in another video if you would want to see that let me know down in the comments below but the selling shop works pretty much the same way we're going to get our cobblestone we're going to put it in here and we're going to receive money in a note form and if you look when we drop this on the floor it gives us our money so guys let's get into the video on how to do this so guys i must say before this video starts i am doing a live commentary this time instead of voiceovers so you're going to hear all the mess ups that i do uh, but the good side is i can actually explain to you now uh, with more detail uh, on how to do things instead of rushing videos like i used to on my channel um, i'm going to be doing live commentaries from now on so guys let me explain to you how all of this works so first off we've got the shulker box here that has sorry this shulker box here that has the main menu in it so this command block is testing for the blocks relative to the position of this command block which is one block above it if it is the same as the coordinates given which is 27750 minus 322 if it's the same coordinates as the one uh, as the shopping box in the shop if it is then as you can see it gives an output we use this to then uh, put clone blocks down to change the GUI which changes the blocks inside here so when we have a test for blocks command block uh, that's testing if the building blocks uh, bedrock is disappeared as you can see so when people take out the bedrock for building blocks it then gives a redstone signal output because they are then identical to the one at the shop it gives a redstone output then it clones this shulk box here into the shop which changes it to the area where it's got grass blocks in um, dirt blocks in and cobblestone stone bricks so on and so forth um, when it clones that we then have the GUI in the shop is then like this of course for, ready for the customer to click on another one and that's where all of this comes in now don't worry I'm not going to be explaining all the different modules um, I'm just going to break it down make it simple and explain the first um, few command blocks here in this row so this one right here is again testing for the blocks if someone takes out the grass block as you can see the grass block is missing here because in this one we have grass blocks at the beginning and when the customer takes out the grass blocks uh, from the shop of course as you can see it's testing for the shop which is 27750 minus 322 like I said once someone takes out the grass block it then gives out a redstone output once again to this comparator and then it pastes in this shulker box which has the buy section for 8, 16 and 32 grass. Now this is to buy 8 blocks. Um, I have 16 blocks here and so on and so far, forth. Um, but once someone click, it pastes in this and then once it pastes in this we have a command block testing for the block again to see if someone clicks on number eight now if someone takes out number eight it is then going to give a comparator output once again 
It's then going to see if they have enough money on the scoreboard and then it's going to title the nearest player just so we can see if someone is at the shop just to make sure that it's not um you know it's like it's like um a safety command lock to make sure that it's not a fake purchase or to make sure that it won't just go straight through and uh, set the redstone block here it's got to make sure someone is in the vicinity of the server to make sure that these command blocks are in range before it takes the money out of their account so once it tests to see if they've got enough money it titles the nearest player with nothing so nothing comes up on their screen and then it sets a redstone block relative to right on top of this command block that this command block then gets activated and deletes the redstone block but then this clones and pastes in this which takes it back to the main menu once it takes them back to the main menu it then takes the money off of them so it's going to take six money off of them for buying eight grass blocks which is here then it's going to paste this chest in with the grass blocks in it so let's slow that down for you now I'm going to repeat that um, at the shop so let me show you guys what I mean but in a slower manner so guys here we are at the shop and as you can see it says stand here because we are executing players on these coordinates so guys if we just stand here as you can see there's nothing inside the chest but if we look in the shulker box the GUI is here so guys we're going to click on building blocks and obviously when we take this out the command block downstairs that I showed you is going to realize that we've taken it out and it's going to uh, clone the shulker box and paste in this shulker box that has all of the different blocks in it then guys the command block that's testing for when we take grass blocks out is going to realize that we've taken grass blocks out and it's going to paste in another shulker box with the GUI in to buy things. Then guys, again, it's going to test for when we take the eight out, of course, this, this glass. So when we take it out, it then clones back to the um, home GUI so we can start shopping again but now if we back out and look in the chest it's taken our money away but it's gave us our grass blocks so to make that more simple of what that has just done to make it a little bit more simpler I guess if we go down here so it's now testing the blocks when we take the grass blocks out so as you can see all the other areas are there but the grass blocks missing so when we took it out it gave this comparator a redstone signal which then activated this command block here which then cloned the shulker box above it into the coordinates of where the shop was so it replaced it with this so as you can see that's when we got all of the grass blocks and then we have this command block right here testing for when we take the grass block bedrock out and when we do take the grass block out it gives this comparator a redstone signal which then activates this clone command block which pastes in this GUI and then finally we have this command block testing for when we take the first green glass out and then once we take that out, it continues on with the buying process. The buying process activates this command block. Then it sends a redstone signal to this. This command block then tests on the scoreboard. It executes the player, the coordinates where it told us to stand. It, take, it tests if the player has got enough money on the scoreboard to buy that and then it does our safety block of course this is not necessary but I like to do it it titles the nearest player with an, with an invisible title and then it sets this command block to redstone so 
So pretty much it's just making sure that we have enough money and then putting a redstone block here so we can continue on with the chain. Now guys, when we place a redstone block here, this repeater gives a signal to this command block which then clones our homepage GUI in, which takes us back to the categories once again. And then this command block then takes money off us on the scoreboard. And then this command block finally gives us the item, which it just clones this chest. Where the chest was, it clones this chest in, and inside the chest is eight brass blocks. And that's the exact same as if we was buying dirt. As you can see, when it pastes in this and takes our money away for dirt, it gives us dirt in the chest. So guys, I hope that explains it to you. Um, like I said, if you want more in-depth tutorials on this and the selling, how I done that, then let me know down in the comments below. And if you want another video on this, if you feel like I didn't explain it enough, then also let me know down in the comments below and I will try to do another video on it and help you guys out to make a GUI shop. Now guys, like I said at the start of the video, this is the first time that I'm doing a live commentary on my videos, so I hope you guys do like it. And also, I am doing command block videos now on Minecraft. Don't worry, I'm still doing glitch videos on my channel, just with the server and all that going up with the realm, uh, Rootland Factions that I'm working on. Um, videos are going to be a little bit um, delayed now, they're not going to be every single week and my video schedule is going to be changing for a little bit. Um, and it's going to be a little bit random, but guys I hope you did enjoy this video and I hope you do smash that like button, comment on this video about what your favourite part of the video was and what I should explain more about this and let me know what video I should do next on my channel. So guys, thank you all for watching. It's been your boy Solus. Peace out. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.